Hello, babes, and welcome to another video. The other day I asked you what kind of content you wanted to see here, and most of you said clothing hauls. So here's another one. I hope you enjoy it. And today I actually want to show you some of my favorite outfits. My backdrop just fell, so let's ignore the background. But anyway, everything I'm going to show you is from Dollar Skill. Most of it is from Widow, but I will also include a couple of things from Carrie Pumuk and Club X. So let's start with this one. This is a vinyl dress from Widow. It's called Twisted Desire Vinyl Dress. I got it in size XS and I think the size is running a little bit big, at least some of the things I have. Because usually an XS would be small um, around my hips and it's kind of big. It's also stretchy, so if you're in between sizes, I would recommend sizing down for this one because as you can see, the size are very very stretchy. The PVC part is not as stretchy but still it's not super stiff. There are other vinyl dresses I have that are really really stiff but this one's not. Now I'm going to show you the back. As you can see it's really beautiful. It has a lot of uh, lace details on the back on the sides and on the front. It's like a slip dress but like an upgraded version of a slip dress and it's become my favorite. <laughs> dress of all time. I'm just sad I cannot wear it anywhere because as you know most festivals, well all festivals were cancelled this year so <laughs> I didn't have any chance to wear it but at least I can still use it to be at home and take photos. Okay so here's the second outfit. It's also from Widow. The t-shirt is called uh, Night Fruit Mesh Tee and I got it in a size XS. It's a transparent tee made of uh, mesh with some kind of velvety bats on the nipples. I have to put some fabric underneath because as I move around they don't really cover my nipples or they don't stay in place because it's not super tight or anything. I don't want anyone to report me, so yeah, I'm wearing something underneath, don't worry. Um, so the t-shirt, as you can see, is really, really beautiful. The neck is more like a cotton material. And then the shirts are called Wake the Wicked Bondage Shorts. And as you can see on the back, they're very, very short. Basically, they're like underwear. But my favorite thing about them are these chains and this corset thing here in the front. They are very, very beautiful. By the way, they're made of faux leather. Everything that includes leather is uh, faux leather, so it's all artificial. And the chains here are removable, so you can just use them however you want. I actually love this outfit, what do you think? I think it's super cute. Again, it's something that makes me want to go to concerts or festivals when unfortunately 2020 happened. So it's gonna have to wait, but I'm still super happy with this. So let's just go grab something else. Okay, next outfit. I feel like most of this is meant to be used without underwear, so I'm not wearing any. This time the skirt is also from Widow, but the top is from Carried Mood. And I got this one in a size S, which I regret because it's too big for me. Uh, okay, wait. It's super big in here. This part is elastic, so if you're in between sizes, I would recommend sizing them. At least for the smaller sizes, I really have no idea if the bigger ones are gonna be the same or not. It's really, really beautiful. It closes with this zipper here. I would normally use it with a bra, but I think it's meant to be used without because it's more like a bra itself. So I don't know why I got an S instead of an XS. I heard that doll skill sizes run a little bit small, but in my opinion, they run quite big. And then the skirt is from Widow, it's called the Root of Evil Lace Up Skirt. Um, the sides are like a corset, they're totally open, so I assume you shouldn't be wearing underwear with it. Or if you're wearing it, it's gonna show, of course. Um, it's very beautiful, it's closes with a zipper on the back. And on the front is this faux leather. I really like this outfit. I got the skirt in a size S as well. This was the first time I got anything from Widow, so I thought I should just pick my usual size. But, I don't know, this one is kind of okay, even if it's a little bit big um, in here, which is normal. But, since it has this corset detail, you can actually adjust it, and sometimes I just close this one 
uh, completely so it fits me better. Okay, here's another thing. Uh, these two pieces are also from Widow. As you see, most of my uh, doll scale stuff is from Widow because I absolutely adore the brand. The top is the Morphin Eyes in green velvet. It's a size excess and it fits perfectly. Um, and the skirt is called Hex for Life Pleated Skirt. And I got it in a size S, but here it is a little bit big. But if you see it here, it's I think this is my size. So I will just fix it in here and make this part smaller because it's the only thing that's actually giving me problems. Which I mean it's it's okay, I can wear it like this. But my absolute favorite thing about this skirt is the chain. It's also removable just like with the shorts. And oh my god, I'm gonna wear this as a necklace. I absolutely adore it. I'm in love with it. I don't know why, but the skirt reminds me of the film The Craft, which was one of my favorite when I was a kid. And I was waiting for so long for them to restock this skirt. And now that they have, I'm absolutely in love with this outfit. By the way, I also had this top in a size uh, S, which was also a mistake because it's too big for me. And... I wish it would fit me because it's so, so beautiful. I can wear it with a bra underneath, but it's not the same. But it's just so beautiful. I absolutely adore the cross at the front. And the lace details here are just to die for. I've seen that they've also released this in red, which is amazing. And I'm thinking about getting the whole set. I might be wrong, but now I'm going to change into what I think is the last thing and you will see because it's awesome. This outfit is possibly the coolest thing I own. I don't know when or if I'll be able to wear this to go out, but I really don't care as long as I can wear it for photos. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Waifkatektreffen. It's a festival in Germany every year, except for 2020, of course. And there's a fetish party, and I think this outfit would be perfect for it. So maybe next year, if I'm lucky and I can go there, I will wear this for the photos party, maybe. <laughs> These two pieces are from Club X. No, this is the Luna Root Awakening harness bra. And, and these are the Luna Root Awakening lace-up shirts. And I'm in love with them. I got the top in a size XS and the bottoms in a size S. I feel like here they are a little bit small. But the rest is kind of okay, or even big in here. But I'm fully okay with them. I like this size, I think it uh, fits me right. And then the top is an excess. I have to say it's very short, because I am actually very short and have a very short torso. And it is perfect for me. I've seen it on taller girls and it's like here. You can see the boobs underneath. So uh, just be warned. You can open the lace-up part on the top and it will be fully open, that is, there is no nothing underneath, so you will be showing your nipples. So I added some padding underneath, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. I mean, if you want to show your nipples, that's perfectly fine, but I don't want to get banned on YouTube. So that was all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you like the outfits. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite ones. And please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week.